Hello, my name is Randy Kennexnicht. I'm in my third year of theology at Sacred Heart. I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of Lansing. My home parish is Most Holy Trinity in Fowler. My story really starts back at home in Fowler with my family. I grew up as the youngest of 10 on my family's dairy farm. We always went to Mass on Sundays. We'd pray together occasionally as a family. We'd pray before meals all the time. Um, and so the faith was always just incorporated in our family. I have an uncle who was a priest, Father Bill Connection, a priest of the Diocese of Lansing. And he would always come to the farm on his day off. So he was always just around and he was always present in my life, uh, just the presence of a priest. And then when I was in middle school, uh, my two older brothers, who are now priests, Father Todd and Father Gary, entered seminary. And so the idea of vocation was really always present in my life, that God has something that he's calling you to do, that God has a plan for your life, and you can ask him what that plan is. I heard the Lord saying, you know, you could be a priest. At that time, I was really interested in architecture, and I just planned it all out. And I remember looking at my life and realizing as much as I enjoyed this, as much as I liked it, if I did, if I did this, if I became an architect, there'd just be something missing. I was at home and I was milking cows, as I did pretty much every, every evening after school. And it was in that space the Lord started to show me the real desire I had in my heart for the priesthood. The real desire I had to serve as people, to preach the good news, to bring the sacraments to them. And that was enough to open me up to the idea of going to seminary and to take the next step. And for most guys, you know, when they first receive the call from the Lord, you know, they get kind of like that yes or the no. And then about 15 minutes later, the questions start coming up. How's this gonna work? What's gonna happen? And the reality of that involves, you know, about eight years of study, six to eight years of study, and the expenses that come with that. And so everyone, everyone asks the question, how am I gonna pay for this, Lord? How's this gonna happen? It's terrifying at first, because you generally, you see the bill, you see what's coming due, and it's like, Lord, how's this gonna happen? The question is, you know, how does the Lord choose to provide? He doesn't just make money appear, you know, in the bank account. He could do that, but he doesn't. He chooses to use people. He uses the people of our diocese. You know, and it's through the DSA that the Lord provides for us. It's a real act of participating in his providence, you know, when you give money to that, because that directly goes to funding our seminary formation. Everyone always wants, you know, they want to have, you know, priests for prayers. They want to have pastors um, who care about them, who take care of them and your money directly goes to forming the pastors of your church. They go to forming us to be the men and the priests that you need and that the church desires that Christ wants us to be. And so there's a, a very real and clear payoff in, you know, in ordination when we then go out and we begin to minister and we begin to give witness to what we've learned to the, to the Lord that we've encountered and just you know, and learned about for so many years. None of us is perfect. As much as we would like to be, we're not. You know, I won't be the perfect priest. I need your prayers. You know, please pray for me that I'll be docile to the Lord, that I'll persevere and follow him wherever he calls me to go, whatever form that takes. And then second, be generous. You know, this is how the Lord provides for us, is through you. He provides for his parishes, he provides for his seminarians, he provides for his future priests. So give generously, because you know, the Lord is not outdone in generosity.